Hello everybody, I'm Mad Video Productions, and welcome back to another video. Now, this isn't my uh, typical video that I upload, I usually make Minecraft content on this channel, but I found this so incredibly interesting, I just, I absolutely had to share it with you guys. I don't even care if this video doesn't do well, I just really, really had to share this because I find this stuff absolutely incredible, and I am convinced that this is the future of video game graphics. So, what we're looking at here today, basically this is like a photorealism enhancement for video games that these guys developed it runs based off of an AI and it runs in Grand Theft Auto 5 a video game that I'm sure many many people are familiar with so here is our normal Grand Theft Auto 5 here and when I slide it over you can see that the AI transforms the scene from GTA 5 into a photorealistic one it makes the clouds more photorealistic the buildings the whole color temperature of the whole scene is more photorealistic but it actually adds specular details on the cars here it changes the color and the textures of the roads and it adds greenery onto the hills in the back. So it's very, very uh, interesting here. And obviously this scene looks very photorealistic. They have a clip here of it running in real time, as you can see. I suggest you go watch the uh, clips on YouTube. They do a pretty good job explaining it. So here's another one of just regular Grand Theft Auto 5. And then we swipe over and we see the photorealistic Grand Theft Auto 5 that the AI just generated. Here's another one. This one's really mind-blowing. It really shows how photorealistic. It really does add a lot of details to the cars as well. But yeah, I mean, in my opinion, this looks uh, far more photorealistic, at least, than any Grand Theft Auto 5 reshade mod I've seen. I mean, that looks like a real car there. It really knows what a real car looks like and how to make it look like a real car. So basically what this artificial intelligence does is it has a data set from Germany, believe it or not, of a bunch of images and the AI knows like that this is a car and that these are buildings, this is the sky and this is the road and it's able to put the imagery from the data set into the right place onto the scene in front of you. And it of course looks very, very good. It looks very photorealistic at least. It does lack a little bit of color but uh, they actually solved that as well. So here's where they tried to solve the color issue because of course this might look like the data set from Germany, but it does not look like a data set from California. So here's a regular scene from GTA 5, and this is a different data set with imagery from around the entire world, and the AI is able to see that it needs colorful imagery and is able to put it onto Grand Theft Auto 5 as photorealistic colorful imagery because of course we know Grand Theft Auto is you know California and that just looks absolutely incredible here's another one regular Grand Theft Auto with the colorful photorealism I mean I think you guys will agree what it's able to accomplish here is absolutely mind-blowing and it looks so smooth and fine-tuned too for just being the first iteration of something like this. Now, I think that the best part of all of this is that they already have it running in real time. So this means that it doesn't take like three hours to render all the imagery out for this. It just does it on the spot, which means that very shortly, you know, within the next 10 to 20 years, we're gonna be seeing video games implementing technology like this into their games. You know, like we have an RTX option with ray tracing or DLSS upscaling, which is all, you know, newer technologies that are sort of you can enable and disable in your video games. We're going to see something like this where it's like some sort of photorealism. Whatever NVIDIA decides to call their version of this technology, you're going to be able to enable it and test it out in real time. And it really does have some incredible applications. Because if you know anything about sort of modern technology, you sort of understand that we're actually approaching the limits of how fast we can make our computers, where our video game graphics are sort of at a standstill and they, they don't really get much better than they look right now. And this is going to be a Able to add a whole new layer to our video game graphics. In our lifetime, we are definitely going to be able to see photorealistic, fully photorealistic games with incredible detail that are generated in real time by AI. Not the whole game, of course, just sort of an overlay like this. But you'll notice it does things that we could not generate at all in real time right now in any video game circumstance at all, even if we got the color palettes right and, you know, what the trees looked like or whatever. And that is the amount of volumetric grass on the side over here like that is extremely detailed and looks photorealistic we would not be able to generate that in real time in grand theft auto it would be incredibly laggy it'd be one frame per second on a fast computer but it's able to do this in real time and it looks really good so this is incredibly impressive in my opinion this is the future 
of photorealistic video games and video game graphics in general and I think we will definitely see this in the future and I just really wanted to share this with you guys. If you watched through this video and you find this interesting please leave a comment telling me what you guys think down below but I just really had to share this and everyone needs to see this especially video game developers and Nvidia and AMD and all those companies they need to, to see this technology and realize the capability and the power of this technology because it's going to improve video game graphics into the future uh, so what a time to be alive guys this is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Evie Productions, and I'll see you in our next regularly scheduled video. Goodbye.